Yesterday, we told you about Christine Darden. She's the NASA engineer whose story was told in the book Hidden Figures. She was born and raised in Monroe. Dr. Darden's journey opened doors for so many at NASA, and she's still making an impact to this day. Aisha Scott has the story. My job today is to create an environment so amazing people can do amazing things. And Clayton Turner loves his job as director of NASA's Langley Research Center, the first African-American to hold that title. But he says he wouldn't have it without four black women known as the hidden figures. When we talk about seeing Christine and seeing Mary Jackson and seeing Dorothy Vaughn and, and Katherine Johnson, it's about seeing others doing it and hearing how they did it. Hidden Figures, the movie, was released in 2017. It tells the story of Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary Jackson, who were mathematicians working at NASA. Their roles were instrumental in one of the greatest space operations in U.S. history, launching astronaut John Glenn into orbit. The movie, however, was based off the book, where Dr. Christine Darden's story was told. When I was first hired at NASA, I was hired as a computer. So that's why I ended up in the Hidden Figures book. From a computer to aerospace engineer to becoming the first African-American woman to be promoted into senior executive service at NASA's Langley Research Center, her journey wasn't without challenges. One incident she recalls vividly. And so we were standing there and he looked at the two of us and said, the only reason either one of you are here is because of affirmative action. She didn't let that slow her down. She went on to a 40-year career at NASA and was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal, the highest civilian honor in the country. Since the release of Hidden Figures, Dr. Darden says she's spoken all over the country. I have, I have spoken for the FAA a number of times. I've spoken for the Secret Service. I have spoken at a lot of colleges. Uh, in universities. Speaking to students who may one day decide to follow in her footsteps and break barriers. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Aisha Scott.